Welcome to Survivor NSFW Saturday night, chilling with Mr. Johnny Fairplay covering Celebrity Big Brother Week 2 POV and Elimination. What's up, dude? It's our second one of the week. Is this crazy? What are we doing hanging out on a Saturday night? Did you lose a bet? What's going on, Matt? Dude, Bischoff? all I know is, yeah, I'm like Saturday night. I mean, last week it was Friday night, and yeah. I like I watched a movie, the the first man movie, yeah. and then had a fire going in the fireplace, and then and then immediately watched the show and was psyched on it. And you and I did it because I was like, man. I'm going to bail on this shit tonight. I, I, but uh, we did it. It's been fun. And yeah. uh, and then tonight, to, what, what movie did you watch tonight? <laughs> well, <laughs> tonight is a great it's a good movie. And I my kids, know. my kids loved it. But uh, but I don't know if it was a wise decision to let yeah. them see John Wick, uh, Keanu Reeves murder like 128 people in this he, he savage vengeance. Box. Oh, dude, have you seen John Wick movies? I haven't seen like that's. The, I haven't seen any John Wicks because well, I, I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't get the memo when when it when it came out because I just saw you know it's like ooh Keanu. I mean like I don't you know you can call this blasphemy if you want. I don't think the Matrix is that great. That's just dude, me personally. I don't remember Being, not even. That good. Yeah, I mean like, I I watched. Clint Head is the best thing I feel like the guy's done. Dude, well, John Wick. We watched the first one last night because we looked okay. it up on the uh, online. Like, yeah. uh, we don't really usually watch rated R movies with our kids. And I was like, Tessa, as long as there's not like blatant fucking yes, it, it, like <laughs> I, I, I don't. <laughs> yes, exactly. I don't need to say any more. That kind of shit. I mean, dude, I throw the f bomb, and and I I have a bad mouth. So it's not like they don't hear shit fuck I damn don't hell. Have a bad mouth. And then like you call me in the mornings when I'm dropping off Piper at school and and uh and, and like Matt's pretty good on the show, but like I was like fucking fuck 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 podcast. Well dude, the funny <laughs> Tessa's tell she's just, I said, Man, it is good it becomes a bad habit. So you know, it's just uh yeah, I just I just I get on, on tangents, dude, and, and I start <laughs> So anyways, John Wick, we watched the first one last night yeah. and we're like, let's watch the second one tonight. And this one, this one was like more vengeance and, and just, it's, it's over the top. Up. Like it's like Rambo or something, dude. Like yeah. the motherfucker I, I, just I, kills everybody. Yeah. I, I need to, I, I, uh, I apologize. I mean, because, uh, I, I, uh, was filming something for the, uh, uh, the little YouTube series that, that, that I'm working on. And, and John Wick came up and, and, and the guy that was doing the, the, the YouTube thing, he, he, uh, he was ready to walk off set. He was just like, I can't believe you haven't watched John Wick. And I'm just yeah. like, dude, I'm like, I'm like, I'm not against it. I'm like, you know, and I've heard, I mean, like, I didn't hear, I didn't hear anything at, at the, like, like, I think I had like one friend who's like, dude, you see John? And I'm just like, I don't know if I trust this guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and like, you know, like you got, right. you got that friend. It's just like, I mean, we're friends, but like. You know, you eat your steak well done. We're not, you know, you, you, you make a lot of bad <laughs> decisions in your life. So maybe John Wick was one of them. So, but <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, but no, I, I, I have heard through the grapevine since then that it's just like, oh, cult classic must see, like put that on your on your bucket list. So I will get to John Wick, and and I and I, I may even like. No promises because I mean I feel like we're we're watching something or doing a podcast every day. Uh, I, I will. It, it is on the list. I will be watching, and and uh, it, it sounds like I, I I do love stacking bodies. It, once again, Arrow season one, one of the best st stacking bodies uh, 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 TV shows of all time. I watched the uh, the the Netflix Fire Island. Uh, you did the documentary today. on the yeah. fake music fe or the music festival that I never was it good? So good. <laughs> Okay. I loved it. I love. I can I just like. I'm like. I love this guy. He's. So, he's what. He's. He. Uh. He wins the Johnny Fairplay uh, Award of Excellence for the year. Dude. He's such. He's such a scumbag. He's amazing. I will have to watch that. But yeah, dude, you got to watch but, John Wick. There's, there's, there's one on Hulu. Netflix, and there's, there's, I haven't watched. The, I just watched the one on Netflix today. And I asked the girlfriend. I was like, Hey, let's watch. Let's watch the. Uh, 
Let's watch the Hulu. And she's like, it's the same shit. And I'm just like, my friend told me I can watch them both. Yeah. Like, why yeah. would you tell me that if it's not true? Right, right. Well. So, so anyway, so, so I, that, that, that's next on the list. And then, oh, I got a recommendation. Uh, Jason Powell uh, from uh, ProWrestling.net. Uh, anyone that is looking for a wrestling uh, source, uh, check out ProWrestling.net. He, he also does the Pro Wrestling Boom podcast. You can find it on iTunes, wherever else. Uh, he, uh, I just got a, a random text, and we usually chat through Twitter. So for him to send a text, it's, it's really big. So he wrote, uh, you have to see Abducted in Plain Sight on Netflix. I'm 30 minutes in, and this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Dumbest family ever. Hmm. So abducted abducted in plain, is it a TV in, show, like a series? I have no idea. Just know he, uh, it, it's, it's on my, uh, so now I'm, so make, my make sure to text me that. And real quick, before we get into the show, have you ever watched a show called Shit's Creek? You know, I've watched a couple episodes. I liked, I did I, like, I might not have seen the best of the best on, on, cause I didn't like start from the beginning. I just watched a random episode and I liked it, but I didn't love it. But I mean, I don't know anyone that I'm not really good friends with, that that I respect their opinion more than anything, and they're all like one of the greatest shows of all time. Well, good. So I, I've watched, I think, maybe the first three, maybe four episodes. Because they're, they're, they're like, yeah, Tess and I were like, man, what can we watch? Like, we don't have a lot of time, and they're like 20 minutes a piece. They're like sure. real short. And yeah, I, I mean, we're both laughing our asses off. It, it's been fucking funny. Well, I'm almost done. Like uh, we started Cheers to go to bed to. Like, like uh, uh, we pick a uh, people are gonna love this. This podcast is great. <laughs> we we pick uh, we pick a series to go to bed to, and, and you know it takes us you know a few months or several. So we started with The Office, and then we watched uh, Parks and Rec, and then we did an uh, The Office again, and then we did Cheers. And Cheers is like I think 11. Se- well, I think we're on the the 10th or 11th season now. We're we're about to wrap up. So maybe we'll we'll try Shit's Creek, uh, and then yeah, and then we'll, and then we'll get back to the office again. Hell yeah! <laughs> well, right now there's some, yeah, there's yeah, a few yeah, people up Shit's Creek cool on stuff. on Celebrity Big Brother Saturday night. Tom is the head of household. We know Candy and Joey are basically on the block. Day 18 and less than two weeks away from a winner, Matt Bischoff. Yeah, and I know. Dude, well, dude, so when they said that tonight, you know, yeah. Julie Chan Moonvez says two weeks. And I was like, I had mixed emotions, dude. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> it's bittersweet. Yeah. Part of me is like, thank you, God, for only this being two more weeks. Yeah. Right. The other part of me was like fuck man i'm kind of enjoying this bonus <laughs> podcast shit with johnny fairplay and uh, and, and well, enjoying it we, we have enough patreon con- content that 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 i you 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 get your fill of me oh we, and anyone we, that, that's not doing patreon it's the beginning of the month now's the time to sign up go to patreon.com slash survivor nsfw you get the video version of every single one of these podcasts and hey and just sign up once again if you don't care about video content you get bonus content that's not available here on on the uh the itunes feed stitcher feed spotify feeds and all that so you you get you get bonus stuff there and it's just a way to throw a, a tip in the tip jar. You like our podcast? Say, you know, here's a way to say thank you. Just sign sign up for one month. Go to patreon.com slash survivor NSFW. And I will say this, uh, along with what you just said, if if you're a fan of what we're doing, which you, you pretty much are if you're listening to to the content we're putting out. There could right? be hate listeners. But he, <laughs> just like, oh man, I, I hate them so much. I'll listen to every one. But here's the deal. The, the the benefit of being a patron, we just had Angela, one of our patrons, that was basically on this Q&A session with the mayor of Slamtown, John Hennigan from Survivor David versus Goliath. And it was awesome. And we're in, we do a Q&A that drops every Friday so you can ask Johnny what whatever you want to ask us and the sky is the limit because it's no holds barred in what we do. So we want to make this as interactive as possible. We're working on some other very special things for 2019, including a website and a lot of other stuff. Johnny and I both have other projects in the works 
and we're going to tell you all about that stuff. But here it is, the power veto night, and basically Tamar, who's got this um, power of the publicist deal, she's, she thinks Tom and Cato and everyone, you know, they're idiots because they're, she's really not even on their radar as far as who's got the power. They're, they're thinking well, it's somebody else. Well, here, here, here's the here's the breakdown, and, and there was a line I didn't catch on last on the last episode that I did catch tonight in, in, in the uh, the wrap up. All right, so it's explained to them during the Entertainment Tonight celebrity breaking news that you know uh, it, it, a a can one of the house guests that is in the stickiest of situations could get this power, and I don't think that really meant anything. I I think it was it was it was a throwaway line. But I, you know, but it, it, if if I'm in that house and, and, and I'm trying to decipher the code, I'm thinking that, that that probably means something. And I don't think it did. So, so you know, doing an analysis of the house, Tom's like, well, obviously, Joey is in the stickiest of situations. You know, he was, a t- you know, he he chose to align himself with Ryan, who was obviously on his way out the door, you know, making himself a target when he really wasn't. He right. kind of placed himself there, and he's just like, you know, of any of every house guest here, Joey is in the stickiest of situations. So if they're awarding this this power to someone in this quote unquote sticky situation, it's obviously Joey Lawrence. And so I think Tom was good with that guess, you know, based on that criteria. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, with that with with the line they showed from four, uh, from from the la- the last episode, Cato is like. Well, obviously, Candy is is in a sticky situation, and it's like, I mean, was she eating candy? Was, was she eating candy? Well, maybe was, was he was. Playing? That's what he was probably thinking of, dude. He was probably thinking of, you know, like Jolly Rancher candy. It gets yeah, red, it gets like, sticky, like, and that's that's a little that's a clue. I don't know. Yeah, but, but he's so, like like, but but if 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 she's if he's thinking she's in trouble in some way, uh, she won't. So I don't. I just thought that that was a like. I blame Cato for for the missed guess there, but we we learn pretty quickly that uh, Ricky is <laughs> Ricky's like, um, why why are we worried about this? And they're like, well, because we need to flush out this power, you know. And he's just like, well, it's obviously Tamar. Like, have yeah, you noticed he, how she's acting? Right, like, right. He called. Stunned. He's a dude. That dude is so smart. smart. And the fact that his his. His exactly what you just said when he's like hey, is obvious. Like he just uh, he says matter of fact things. Like when he's like, but, but, he, but even more than matter of fact, and and he's right. But but he's just like, what difference does it make? Yeah, it doesn't really make a difference. And he's right on that. Yep, yep. <laughs> like he's just like you know like Tom's freaking out. He's just like yeah, it's obviously Tamar, and who cares? Let's, yeah. let's just let's just do what we're doing. Right. Yeah. Right. No, no, I hear you. I, I'm lo- I'm really liking. <laughs> And, 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 and all that does is just alarm, 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 alarm for, for Tom. He's just like, well, it must be Ricky. Why? Mm-hmm. I, Ricky wants to be your friend and you're fucking this up. And I think, dude, I think Ricky has just as good a shot <laughs> to win this game than anybody does at this point. Because he, he's, he's Who's playing. Pick? Who's my pick? Yeah. <sighs> Man, that's a tough one because it's tough because I think like as much as I love Tom in the beginning after t- watching tonight, him, him and Cato are on this such a uh, chopping block, if you will, that yeah, uh, I, 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 I think I, I, I think I have in my I have in my notes uh, was it absolute power absolutely corrupts. I and think that, Ricky, that's... I think Ricky or Natalie, but I'm just gonna call Ricky. Okay, I like Ricky. I like, but I mean that. But that's going back. Like I, you know, I've <laughs> episode one. We don't even know Ricky Williams is in the house. And I'm not saying Ricky's my favorite player. I'm just, yeah. I, I can just see him being like one of those players, dude. That he's not in the drama, right? He's not going off. No one is yet like. Okay, so I want to say this, Tom. You know, he walks in. And and starts talking with Lolo, and she literally, dude, just flies off the complete <laughs> handle well, it, it, with him. She's got it, issues, dude. She went crazy it, on him. It is to to some extent. It is it is understandable in that 
she she's done with the paranoia par- paranoia of Tom after uh, af- well, no, well, it, well, with anyone after the Tamar debacle. Mm-hmm. So so it's just like because of Tamar, she's like, look, I'm not I, I ain't got no room for anyone's paranoia. And, and I get that. But on top of that, she's crazy. Now, let me just ask you this, because so like me watching, I cannot stand her half the time. Johnny Fairplay caused a lot of ruckus in Survivor Pearl Islands, right? Which I was a fan, but I could see how America could perceive you as a fucking asshole, the most hated well, man in America. So my point some is, bad taste. do you compare yourself to Lolo on any level? Uh, Watch, watching her gameplay. She, she's slightly manlier than me, but otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you do have a man. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure she could beat me in arm wrestling. <laughs> Dude. She, yes. I, <laughs> a, a man, she's a virgin. Imagine, like, I mean, she's so burly. I wonder if her, like, Kegel muscles would, like, snap oh. somebody in half. You know what I mean? I'd like to. I'd like to. <laughs> You'd like to find out. Well, I'd, like, I'd like to hear about it. So we got, we, we, she, I think she's I bad shit. You're trying, you're trying to get me in trouble here. Yeah, she, dude, she's bad shit crazy, dude. Like, I'm like, yeah. dude, she's, she's got a major, major. We, 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 we have, we have already discovered why she's a virgin. Yes, we have. We have. So we yeah. got, I mean, cause, cause she's, she's not a one night stand. I, I, she doesn't appear and she, well, she obviously isn't a one night stand kind of girl. So, so yeah, so you're like, we're going to get to the end of this episode, which Joey was, oh, dude, I, I love I, it. I, he was so good at the end. He so was, good. I hated him the whole time. Yeah. And then, That's yes, like, like right, right before the vote, I have like, you know, I, 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 in my notes, I have Joey still sucks. And then he, and then, <laughs> then I was, I'm just like, where's, where, where was this guy? <laughs> I know, I know, I know. So here we go. We got Lolo, Natalie, Eva Marie, and Ricky are in a room. And Lolo tells Ricky about Tom's backdoor plans. Yeah. They're down with Ricky. You want to know why? Because Ricky's smart. Yeah. They're just like, hey, let's work with a smart person that can tell us what to do. Right, right. And, and they basically. I mean, because Witchcott, you know, prior to, you know, the, the uh, Team Team Fun 5, they were looking for for someone to to latch you know they're just like hey you know Jonathan's smart we'll we'll latch on with them, with him and Ryan mm-hmm. and then they're just like boys only <laughs> and, you know right. and they're like okay but if you look at Tom and Cato were the nerds on the out they weren't the cool kids right right you, you know so so that they got a chance to be cool and they're just like and and they're just like well you know we'll work with you guys even though you're nerds but can we have can we bring in like one more person that's not like a super nerd mm-hmm. so <laughs> so that it's bearable and they're like no we want to be the 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 two guys with the hot two girls yeah. and they're like <laughs> that kind of sucks so <laughs> basically what ha- what this happens is nice. oh dude <laughs> yeah and so what they want to do is Lolo Natalie even Marie and Ricky want to still pretend and have the perception that the alliance of five is still strong and still there that's that's their plan even, like, even though it's not and, and i was really i mean I, I told you on the last podcast i was really hoping that like there'd be a late night where it was just tom and ricky talking together and just working through whatever doubts there were and that conversation never happened yeah wow well, I haven't uh, had time to watch all the the, the live feeds and stuff. So oh, that, well, I don't. Know. I mean, it, it might. I mean, the, the, what, if, if a conversation happened, it didn't get the result that I, that I was hoping for because right. the, those two are not on the same page. No, no. And so, and, 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 and I, I think they will not be within the next uh, two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hear you. So we go to the power veto competition, which I actually would like this competition. Basically, you have to hold this bar, you spin around, and then you have to, you're all dizzy and you got to make field goals. But the whole point of spinning around is to drop this like defend, defender, defender blocker. Yeah. blocker dummy. But you're trying to make this field goal and it's uh, this competition. And we see Lolo. Did, did, you notice the, did you notice the name of it? Yes, I did. Celebrity Big Brother Bowl. Oh, is that what it was called? Well, that's what it said on a big screen after the thing. Okay, what, well, what did you also, think it they, was? They, well, I, I, I was taking notes while they said they they called it quote the big game, 
because you can't use the word Super Bowl because right. of the because the because the Super Bowl owns the Super Bowl. But I assumed I'm just like, well, fuck, man. I'm like the Super Bowl's on CBS tomorrow. That's the whole reason we're not getting Big Brother on Sunday, and you right. still can't fucking say Super Bowl. Well, what they <laughs> did, dude. After I know that I know what you're talking about, and then like right before the contest started, this like little graphic came up, like you know, like a little tag thing that said sure. celebrity big brother bowl so okay but still but they, they could not use the word super, super bowl yeah. even though the super bowl is on their network i know it's i mean cause I, I don't know if you've ever watched like you know like if you see a commercial for best buy it's just like are you watching the big game come get a new tv yeah it's just like I, what what big game is it? Is there is there is there a basketball game? Is it a spring training baseball game? Perhaps. Like, are we allowed to say Super Bowl right now on the, po- on like, the podcast? Or are we are, just because no, I'm okay. saying Super Bowl? Does that mean no, like no. we have gonna, to beep it? We're gonna. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna go I, I, edit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you up till two a.m. tonight <laughs> beeping every time I say Super Bowl, and uh, I'm gonna work it in about every uh, every I don't know forty five seconds. Uh, that's hilarious. End. <laughs> so the people involved in this contest, Tamar is kind of doing the MCN. We got Lolo, Joey, Tom, Candy, Natalie, Eva Marie, and Dina. And you oh, gotta... well, well, hold on. We 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 had confessionals for each of them saying, you know, what the POV meant to them, except for Dina, of course, <laughs> who who was non-existent, you know, to, towards anything in the house. Right. But uh, did you notice Candy's black lipstick? Dude, she looked like the Joker, right? Let, let me just tell you this: when she came on with the little confessional deal with the black yeah. lipstick, I, I, I said something out loud like, "What the fuck?" Or that's <laughs> yeah, I, I that was a huge thing in my mind that I, I yeah, I was I'm, I'm not a big fan. And then she's got and like she bright... looked like the Joker. Yeah, she did. She, she it's uh... <laughs> yeah, she. She she indeed looked like the Joker. She, she looked like the Joker. So you got to make right. you got to make three field goals, and um, basically you got to pick your opponent. So the first round is Lolo picks. Oh, Dina. hold on, because <laughs> this is the never ending podcast. One of my biggest pet peeves is when people call it a field gold. Field gold is that they? They go, man, he needs to get this field gold, and I'm like. Like I don't, I don't, you think they'll sift it or yeah, that's dig? Fu- so people actually, <laughs> I never. So here's another funny thing on that same line. So as a BMXer, and I'm sure you've heard this term from skateboarding and shit. So people calling a quarter pipe a quarter pike. Quarter pike. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. not a. This is not one fourth of a fish called a pike. <laughs> yeah. It's a quarter of a pipe. Yeah. Quarter. Sorry, shit. Quarter pipe. <laughs> Not, Matt gets his mic. Yeah, He's so I'm, pi- I'm pissed. I'm so pissed. So <laughs> this is this is like you know you you talk about you know top ten nicest survivor of all time. Bam, hundred dollar microphone. <laughs> fuck it. <Yeah. laughs> Don't you say Pike on my fucking watch. <laughs> so Lolo picks Dina, and it's a complete blowout. Lolo's an yeah. Olympian. Dina is uh, the the oldest person in the house, I think. Oh, and, uh, we, we did. We did. This this was what this was remarkable in in one instance. So uh, so my daughter Piper, she she's only seen a couple episodes of, of Celebrity Big Brother this season, yeah. and you know, and and I ask her to watch, and she's like, no, I don't like. And then she watches, and she's all in and so she's what and, and Cato is like uh he goes i'm gonna recast dina as the gerber bait and i'm just like uh <laughs> and uh piper goes that guy's funny <laughs> I, was, I grounded her oh I, that's she, hilarious she, yeah so i took away her ipad for three weeks oh my god that's funny dude so, so <laughs> yeah so dina she does look like she, she looks like a um my BMX buddies used to call that baby giraffe legs. Like, yeah. you know, where you're like just completely, you know, so Dina loses Lolo. I, 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 wins. I have baby giraffe legs around, you know, like 1 AM, you know, when, you yeah. know, <laughs> 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 it's trying to get to the bathroom. It's like, Ooh, no. <laughs> so, so then we go to Joey versus Tom and that was a pretty good, pretty good deal. The score ends up, ends up being tied two to two. And then, Tom wins. So, uh, t- you know, the, the thing that's crazy is Tom wins this one. And then Candy, she goes up and she picks Tom. So Tom has to go. Smart. Two- I, I, I said smart. Tom said smart. 
<laughs> I think I think America said smart. Yeah, two times in a row. So I'm thinking of this. Like I know her strategy, but it's like this, man. Tom could either be tired from doing it right before, or, or he's he's, like he's doing. yeah he he's he's good to go. He's learned the learning curve, and yeah. he just like throw me in every damn round. So Tom yeah. wins again. Yes. And then Natalie Eve Marie, and he's like, you know don't pick me don't pick you know and she freaking picks him because and it was that was kind of a a, a telling deal yeah that, that's, like like i'm pretty sure our alliance is good other than the fact she's working against it yeah yeah i know <laughs> i know so tom's no dummy you know so so yeah. she picks him and and she beats tom barely but she she does beat him and then you got natalie versus lolo which for them it's like a win-win situation of whoever whoever wins um because they feel like they're, you know, they're sisters. Yeah. They're sisters. <laughs> it's so <okay. laughs> dude. So Natalie- I, you know what? I would like the final three to be Lolo, Eva Marie, and uh, and Ricky Williams. And I would like Ricky Williams to to or, or maybe even final four and watch Ricky Williams split them two apart because yeah. that's gonna be beautiful. Oh, dude. Lolo's gonna freak out. Like I'm just yeah. wondering. We we see her anger every episode. The confrontation, the hostility, the maybe she takes steroids and then she's you know. But <laughs> maybe. But she, um, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting to see if she flies off the handle when she finally goes, or if she's gonna break down crying. Who knows? I, I'm I'm gonna be there to watch it and see. I'm guessing both. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're probably, you're, you're probably right. She'll probably freak yeah. out and then cry. And so now it's ceremony time, and and Tom is nervous because like no one has gone to him to tell him at all what well, the plan is. Him. We find out later that they couldn't find. Him. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but I, I think I think another tell was Eva Marie was uh, was rocking a, a witch hat. So if you if you're wondering if if someone is is still on the side of good and working with you. And they and they show up to a ceremony of any kind wearing a witch hat. Mm-hmm. That's usually a sign that things might <laughs> that right. so, so, something might be uh, uh, something might be smelling rotten in Denmark. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's Tom is Tom is no dummy, like I said, and they haven't talked to him at all about what's going on in the plan. And they go into this like room to talk. It was Natalie, Lolo, Tom, and Cato. Well, she doesn't use the Vita. And the, right. And right. Well, yeah. Ricky walks in and and Ricky's kind of like pissed about what's going on. And and what I'm saying is is they're they're all conspiring and trying to act that everything is cool. And Tom does not trust them at all because they're all shitty actors. Yeah. And, well, and, I mean, they, they, well, he, it's just like you know. Well, no, she they have the ceremony. She doesn't use the veto. And 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 Tom's you, you, like you know you you couldn't. You know, why, why didn't you? She was like, no one told me what to do. And he's just like, in a house with seven rooms, you couldn't find me? She's like, no. Right. Couldn't find you. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they're like, and they, and they huddle up and they do the, you know, Team Fun Five. And I'm just like, no, Team No Name. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I couldn't believe Ricky put his hand. Like, I, I, was, I was waiting for him to be like, I thought we said no name. I right. Mean, <laughs> why y'all saying team fun? Yeah. So, yeah. So, no, next scene, I uh, I learned that Eva Marie's chest is about perfect. <laughs> <laughs> was I was there? And I didn't know if there were, were there if there was dialogue happening during this part. Oh, that's hilarious. I just hilarious. know that uh, Eva Marie, I uh, yep, <laughs> roll tie. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. I, I One thing I noticed is, uh, you know, Joey starts kind of wanting, toward the end of the episode, he's wanting to stir up the game. You know, he's kind of telling everybody, like, look, Tom and Cato, this and that. You know, you can, you can use me, and you guys got to get them out. Like, he's, like, last minute trying to – he's act like he wants to play the game, but then he's also like, but, you know – I can be a pawn or whatever. He just, he really has no clue. And he admits that at the end of the episode that he has no clue. So, yeah. you, you know. I, I, he finally tried. I, I think it's too little too late. Yeah. So, and, I, and, 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 and and I think it's a smart move. I, I, I feel that Candy will roll with you however you want. Joy will roll with you however you want. 
However, there's a bigger risk of Joy as a physical threat uh, winning when you don't need him to versus Candy. Mm-hmm. So I I I, I pulled I pull the plug on Joy's game if I'm because as I, said, I think they're interchangeable versus the fact I I think Joy could be coer- coerced to go with with Tom and uh, and Cato down the line, whereas Candy not so much and and Candy as I said, is, is not going to win anything physically. Right, right. And one of the things I love is like Cato, he starts calling out Natalie, yeah. even Marie. He does uh, not like it when he doesn't have power. Have you, like, no, he, he doesn't, he, but he call, he's just, he's talking shit. Like, I, you know, he seems like a nice guy, but he's, he's kind of, uh, you know, calling when her out. When your feelings that. get hurt, you, you, you kind of, you know, you, you, you fight back. But I don't think, I, I think the move should have been. Hey, I don't know where we where we went awry, but let's see if we can fix this. Yeah, you know, instead if, he if, basically if the, pissed him if, off. If the problem was you guys really wanted to save Ricky, all right, well let's reevaluate this thing. You know, the, this whole power thing got us all all fuddy duddy uh, with one another. Let's put this behind us. He, I, I believe him. He doesn't have the power. Let's work together. But instead, it's just like I'm drawing a line in the sand. And it's like, all right, well, <laughs> here we come. Except it's all of us against you too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And Lolo starts going fucking crazy, being being a bitch again. Fun, and, fun, fun. And and, <laughs> and 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 Tom is pretty calm, and he's like, as she's bitching at him, he's just like, I'm just. Tom's like, just look. I'm just bummed that our that our alliance is crumbling apart. Like, yeah, he he was mostly cool, but he still had a little tinge of 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 butt hurt, and uh, understandably so. Mm-hmm. So uh, Cato, on the other hand, has has a big big dose of butt hurt going. Yep, yep. So. Cato Cato does, and Cato also. I can't recall exactly what he did, but there was a few times tonight that he was saying and doing things that he was starving for airtime yeah well that's 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 a typical cato episode so my, my my big takeaway from the actual ceremony uh the 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 eviction ceremony you know it, it's it's a unanimous vote of course but uh joey he's wearing he's wearing a uh like a plaid flannel shirt and jeans and he's got the the one half tucked in and the other half tucked out um you think that that's is, intentional oh yes that okay. that is one of my favorite douchebag looks <laughs> Um, I prefer it with, uh, with a braided belt and, uh, and boat shoes. Um, <laughs> Eastland, Eastland, like those shoes called Eastlands. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, well, it's very, and... it's very top siders, but, but, but yeah, if Eastlands in, instead and, yeah. and then, and, uh, nice braided belt and, uh, <laughs> dude. Yeah. yeah. So you know, it's a look. It, it's, 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 it's a un- look. It's unanimous. Joe, it's unanimous, he's a douchebag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> unanimous, he's a douchebag. In the house, in the house, out of the house, he's back to the Joey Lords that we know and love. So Joey gets <laughs> out, and oh, well, well, I will say this: as he's leaving, he does yo bye yo, but it's like, all right, relax with the yos. And if you look, he's doing eye rolls during his hugs. He it, sucks. I mean, he literally sucks in the house. And then they're like, they're like, hey, you know, uh, you know, the door. And he's just like, I know, I'll hold the door open so you guys can see. Because I told you that's a big thing. And he, he like put, he's like, I don't, fuck your door. <laughs> he's yeah. like, I don't, I don't give a fuck about you. Y'all just voted me out. Right. Fuck right. you and your door. <laughs> so the things that so so Joey is Joey is out. And yeah. so first of all. I love that he starts talking shit on Lolo and how he starts imitating how she was in the house. And how yeah, she's crazy. It was great. You know what I mean? It was like no holds bar. And he, and I also, he admitted the, to he the owned fact. Up. He goes, I know nothing. He goes, I knew nothing. He goes, I learned quickly. And he did. Yeah. After, but like. It's such a short game that it's, that yeah. it's, that it's, you know, yeah. like. If, you this, said if, this is a regular, if this is a regular season of Big Brother, I mean, you know, week, week two, he's fine. Right. Oh, yeah. So I, I think that, you know, him saying that he um, does a 45 minute bathroom or that, bedroom that routine. Telling. Like, yeah. Dude, like, what exactly? And then she starts saying, like, maybe you should come up with your own skincare product. And he's like, ah, well, part of it's genetics or whatever. But what do you do? He said it's like his Zen time. 
right? He said he prays. Well, I get that. I mean, so part, I, 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 you know, so, so I, there, there, so I think. Do you think he takes a shower? I think he's got hemorrhoids. <laughs> I, think, I think I think it, I think it's I, I think he has hemorrhoids. I mean, maybe, I mean, maybe he does. Not... He works out a lot. Maybe he squats too much, and the and the hem, hemorrhoidal aliens are popping out. Yeah, so, I, I, I think there's I think there's something going on. But so. yeah, it was. Fun. But you know what? You, Pro- if you like, if if you have a forty five minute like go to bed routine, number one, God bless your wife. Like I would. Like if, if, if you were, if you were in, if I were to have a relationship with you and you had like a 45 minute fucking, I'd just be like, go fuck yourself. Like yeah. this, this shit ain't for a first. dude. That's, I mean, dude, I... that's yeah. For a dude, super go fuck so, yourself. Let's just put it this way. <laughs> if sometimes I take showers at night, it depends. I take showers every, but I take showers, I take showers every morning. <laughs> I love, but dude, like, so, you know, like when when my kids go to bed, we say bedtime prayers every night and then brush teeth and do whatever, go to the bathroom, plug my phone in. Yeah. 10 minutes. And if I took a shower, it's 15 times. (laughs) Yeah. Right. So like another 30, maybe he jacks off uh, at night in the bathroom. That takes him like twenty five minutes, and then a ten minute shower, and then I. If I jacked off for twenty five minutes, I'd shoot myself too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I, no, but I don't know what I don't know what he does. I mean, maybe he's primping, and maybe he's plucking eyebrow hairs. Who knows? But at least he's honest and and kind of just like, hey, America, I have a forty five minute bed bedtime routine, and yeah. you know what? It was it was it was weird for me to to play this real dude on a show. Cause usually I'm playing the character of someone else. Yeah. So this I, was new to me. So good. I mean, like I, as I really like that guy outside the house. I mean, and literally seconds before I'm like, fuck that guy. Yep. Yep. <laughs> right. So, so o- overall correctly guess the Super Bowl. How cool is that? That was super cool too. It, so because you, you had you had them in the house, but they're like, all right, Saints is like, say say in the Super Bowl. You well, dude, I tell you what, <laughs> J- Joey's Joey's like four minutes of exit interviews sitting in the chair was like my favorite four minutes of tonight's episode. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. I mean, there there well, was some I mean, cool stuff. We were talking, we were talking about fucking Fire Island and fucking yeah, <laughs> and other Netflix recommendations. But no, dude, it, it was uh, it was good, and I can't wait till uh, the next episode. And uh, thank you guys, Monday. thank you, guys. thank you Monday, and and Monday, thank you guys back. for listening um, to all this content. And again, yeah. if you want to get the video content of of these and all of our other stuff that we do uh patreon.com slash survivor nsfw and i also want to mention that we have an event coming up in cincinnati ohio i know there's crossover between you know survivor big brother fans and whatnot we have the survivor premiere for edge of extinction johnny fairplay and myself along with basically another half a dozen other survivors roger bingham angela perkins Matthew Sash Lenahan, Big Tom, Tanya Vance, and we are going to be doing the live podcast, meet and greet, and in the daytime, we are doing a cornhole event, and there's a, a few tickets remaining still for this, so you can get all the information and tickets at SurvivorTix.com, that's SurvivorTix.com. Yeah, the Cincinnati. cornhole event. Your your food's covered. Your uh, your beverages are covered. Uh, there's plenty. I don't I I don't drink anymore. So there there's plenty of alcohol <laughs> that'll be available. The, norm, normally I would have wiped that out before before anyone had gotten there. <laughs> but but food, booze, uh, regular uh, beverages as well. Uh, we're giving away Survivor NSFW cornhole boards. We're gonna have professional cornhole players that you may have seen on ESPN, ESPN two, ESPN three. Uh, it's gonna be a really cool event that goes on February twentieth from one to four p.m. and then at six p.m. we're at the Frickers in Mason. 
Uh, we were going to be in Westchester. They had damage to the building. They were trying to get everything done in time. It will not happen. So the event is at Frickers in Mason, Ohio. And once again, that is February 20th. VIP starts at 6.30 p.m. A general admission starts at 7.30. Uh, VIP gets you a Survivor Edge of Extinction buff. You get to do the, the meet and greet. It's a really cool time. If you've never been to one of our live events, they're awesome. But let me tell you this. Uh, on the event for March 13th in uh, Durham, North Carolina. That's going to be my birthday bash, also a Survivor viewing party. I'll be joined by Jane from Survivor Nicaragua, Allison from Survivor David vs. Goliath, and Keith from the upcoming cast of Edge of Extinction. So, yeah. Also, Zane Knight, one of my favorite players of all time. The mysterious, the wacky, the crazy, the nice Zane Knight. So uh, th this is all amping up. Uh, also, we got uh, uh, May 1st. Tickets go on sale this week. It's, uh, it's uh, Survivor NSFW Live in Santa Monica, California at Busby's West. I'll be joined by Abby Maria J from Millennials versus Gen X and X on the Beach 2 and, uh, and and a host of others, Rhino from Pro Islands, uh, Nina. It's going to be off the chains, as they say. And, and uh, don't forget your tickets. They are officially now available for Survivor NSFW Live at Zanies in Nashville. How crazy is that? Some of the greatest comedians of all time have have grace that stage and i will uh, i will be there as well and you can get tickets for that event everything is a, everything else is available at survivortix.com that's survivortix.com but for zanies in nashville you can get tickets at survivorafterhours.com that's april 24th nashville tennessee tickets now available at survivorafterhours.com right on man well, we will see you next time you guys have a good night and we'll see you next time on Survivor NSFW. Cheers.